This time we're hearing from family members pushing for safety improvements after a deadly dog attack. Their push for change in Lawrence County comes as they urge people to remember the victim, Willard Norton. WFO 48's Aria Pons live now for us in Lawrence County. Aria, you talked to Norton's family today, as well as a lot of concerned community members. What did they tell you? Liz, they say that Norton was loving, that he was well known to the entire community, as you can see from the show of people who showed up, that he loved music, he loved his garden, and he especially loved his family. Now the Norton family is pleading with the community to help improve animal control so that this doesn't have to happen to anyone else. His granddaughter, Abby Carpenter, says they have been doing nonstop research in order to find out what they can do in the area. We're learning and we just we really don't want to see this happen to anybody else. Lawrence County deputies say Willard Norton was attacked in his yard by two dogs on June 2nd. Now Norton's family say they are trying desperately to make changes to animal enforcement in Lawrence County. And, you know, we'll do whatever it takes to make sure that this isn't another family in the future. That push for change started at a community meeting in Cortland. It continued at a county commission work session later in the day. And I just think it's horrible and it's something's got to be done. Commissioner Amard Martin agrees. He says he's seen the need for improved animal control enforcement for the 25 years he worked as a Lawrence County deputy. And over the last uh, four years before I retired, we was trying to get some answers from the commission about getting in front of the uh, dog situation that we have or the animal control situation that we have here in Lawrence County. Now that he is a commissioner, he says he's ready to make that change and be transparent. We have to enforce the uh, leash laws. We have to make sure that we go by the Emily law and make sure that the uh, animal control is uh, well, have the, the equipment that they need to do their jobs. Carpenter says that they will not stop until the enforcement improves to honor their grandfather, who she says was a pillar in their family and the community. Over 500 people came to his service, um, so he was loved, and we, we know that we're doing the right thing for him. Martin says that there is one full-time animal control worker and also one part-time animal control worker. Now, the community wants there to be more than two workers for the entire county. They say they want the workers to answer their phones as that has become a problem, they say. And they also would like the animal shelter to be open for more than eight hours a day to the public or just at all. Reporting live in Lawrence County, Aria Pons, 48 on your side.